studied law Instead you are my paintbrush You're my curriculum Could have been a sailor Could have been an astronaut Instead I drive for miles just To get to where you are I saw you out in the Leicester Square Thought about you in the shower I paid to watch you stand up there And gave you all the power You say she's a work of art You pick her up from school But she blows you off Don't you love Thanksgiving morning and welcome back to another vlog. So right now I'm sitting on my couch and Lyle went to take out Prince and we actually have Lyle's mom coming over for dinner today. Lyle and I got tested like three days ago so we wanted to make sure we are negative which we are and also we've seen his mom like several times this month. We saw her last over the weekend for Lau's birthday, so we feel pretty safe and comfortable spending Thanksgiving with her. So it's just gonna be us three. Um, we're not doing anything big or crazy just because of COVID. And I also just didn't feel like it was right to go see my parents who live in Washington, Seattle, Washington. So I just felt like, I don't know, you know, I didn't wanna get them sick or something. Even though I was negative, I'm traveling. Um, I might see them for the holidays we haven't really discussed that yet. We're just trying to wait and see how things go, but we're spending Thanksgiving with Lyle's mom and she cooked a bunch of Thanksgiving food that she's bringing over and I'm about to go to the grocery store and grab some more things to add on to her meals, but she did an amazing job. So I'm really excited because I don't really know how to cook Thanksgiving food. I'm also not a big Thanksgiving person. Um, as you guys might know, I. I'm not American, so I wasn't born here. So Thanksgiving was something that I just never grew up celebrating until I moved to the US. And my family and I tried it out for like a year or two and we made traditional Thanksgiving food and we just realized it wasn't really what we enjoyed. And we ended up throughout, like through the years just turning it into like a holiday where you just get to spend time with family. Um, we would make food that we liked eating and enjoyed and we would like watch, well, we would like watch movies and all that stuff, so and this year is obviously very different but i'm still grateful and thankful for the people that i do have here close around me and i can't wait to see my family hopefully soon safely but i'm really excited to see them because i haven't seen them in a very 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 long time with everything going on and also i lost a family member to covid so i wish i got to see that family member more before i lost them so it's like a really weird feeling of you don't know what's gonna happen it's such a crazy time i want to see everybody i love because you don't know if it's the last time you'll see them but at the same time you don't want to put them in danger and make it the last time you'll see them i am about to go to the grocery store and then i am going to clean a little bit around the apartment lyle's gonna help me clean we have like a little list of things he's doing and things i'm doing so i think i'm on bathroom duty and our apartment just gets so dusty i clean like every other day because it gets so dirty like i will do a deep clean and the next day it's already dusty everywhere i'm about to get dressed because i'm clearly like in my home clothes and um head to the grocery store good afternoon to you well despite the fact that temperatures today are far higher than they've been for some considerable time in many parts of the country we're certainly not out of the woods yet it does look as if very gradually in the next day or so it's going to turn cold again and indeed bad news i'm afraid Heard you were walking around the Hempstead Heath While well, I was out in Camden Town You got your life all planned And I'm just trying to sort the day Heard you got yourself some new friends Heard they ain't that kind so I just pretend as I leave this place again 
that this just wasn't our time When our friends talk about you, it's hard to drown them out Cause borrowing your dreams has left me lonely now And I lost a part of myself that's begging to be found So I say thank you for the Sunday paper I step outside, take the news and go back in I step outside, take the news and go back in If seasons change and this city stays the same And we're still in town Is it wishful thinking and maybe ask me around I'm not ready to say goodbye When our friends talk about you It's hard to drown them out Cause borrowing your dreams Has left me lonely now And I lost a part of myself That's begging to be found So I say thank you for the Sunday paper I step outside Take the news and go back in Step outside, take the news and go back in. I step outside, take the news and go back in. I step outside, take the news and go back in.
Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help But my issues are nauseating I don't wanna bring you down I just wanna be free from the freak Feel love for the first time I just wanna love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't wanna be the only one with the house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Driving windows down with your head in mine Out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind up all the food and cleaning up the table and I am stuffed we're all so full Nell's mom just left because she has a long drive home and we're actually about to work I know I am <laughs> this is a no very prince. flattering this is angle not flattery at all this is not a flattering angle you look like you have no neck I look like I'm just like in a fucking neck brace right now What's I'm going so on? sorry so I'm full and I'm actually making, where is it? I'm making coffee right now. I'm waiting for my, we have a bunch of leftovers. This is all the food that we just can't fit in the fridge because our fridge is full. Um, but I'm making coffee because like I said, I am stuffed. And when I eat so much, I get sleepy and I want to nap, but I can't nap. I have work to do. So I'm just going to make my coffee with my little, I need to spoon out the rest of the foam. It's just almond milk. I put in my Nespresso frother so that it froths up and I feel like I'm getting a fancy little latte. So I am about to hop on my laptop, work. It is early, it's only 7.40, but it honest, honestly feels like it's midnight. Um, it's just been the longest day and it gets dark so early and we're like full and sleepy. <laughs> but we had a great time and honestly, we are just so grateful and thankful for everything we have. We all counted our blessings and how much we really have to be thankful for because it's a lot. And oftentimes when we just go about our everyday life, we forget about all of the blessings around us because we take it for granted, even myself. So this is just, a great reminder. This whole year has been a great reminder about everything we should be grateful for. We should just appreciate the little things and we don't need everything. Um, so yeah, I am about to make my coffee. I need some cinnamon. I always add a little bit of cinnamon to my lattes because I feel like it just spices it up. And some ground cinnamon from Trader Joe's. It just gives it flavor. And a tip, cinnamon speeds up your metabolism. So well, when I have coffee in the morning, I always add cinnamon. I don't know how much it really speeds it up, but it says it speeds it up, so. 
we're gonna be adding it to our lattes every day, that's for sure.